Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. First, let me commend uh, all the members that have spoken to this issue, particularly the member for Lamu East for raising the issue. And Honorable Speaker, I could not agree more with the sentiments of most of the members who have spoken, uh, beginning with what the Honorable Member for Kamukunji is saying, that not just Lamu, the entire country, we all live together as one nation. And Honorable Speaker, all our communities are all over the country. You will go to Bungoma, you will find Bajunis who are living in Bungoma and living there peacefully with other people. You will find members of the Somali community in Lamu just like you will find them in Kikuyu constituency. And even Pokomos and the Giriamas, uh, as the Honorable Owen Bayer would tell you, Giriamas were known to be inhabitants of the coastal region. But today, Giriamas are living even in the north of Kenya. And as leaders, Honorable Speaker, we must always bear in mind that we bear a great responsibility and duty of care to the people that we lead. And that duty of care and responsibility that we bear as leaders must always encourage ourselves to speak in a manner that we always bring our people together. Honorable Speaker, criminals and terrorists are not unaware of the differences that we have as a country along our ethnicities. And therefore, terrorists and criminals, Honorable Speaker, we would want and will endeavor to take advantage of any small difference that we perpetuate as leaders to be able to incite Kenyans against each other. And I would really want to plead, because it is always fashionable, Honorable Speaker, if I stand here to speak to my community and speak to the gallery. And especially if you come from a large community like mine, Honorable Speaker, there is always a temptation to speak to the gallery and what will excite the people, and especially our voters. But we must always bear in mind that we, we owe a duty of care even to those big communities that we lead. And however small or big a community is in this country, we all have been put in this country by the Almighty God to live peaceably together. And we must desist from using words or issuing statements that may look populist in nature, but may end up inciting communities against each other, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, the CS yesterday, the CS in charge of internal security, in fact released a whole list of terrorists, criminals, who are terrorizing people in Lamu. And security challenges, Honorable Speaker, relating to terrorism are not only in Lamu County. The neighboring counties of Garissa, Wajia, Mandera have suffered the same fate. And we cannot say that there is a particular community being targeted in Lamu, but they are not being targeted in Mandera. Or in Garissa, for that matter. Terrorists, Honorable Speaker, are criminals who must be looked at with the prism of criminal activity, not on the prism of their ethnicity. And not where they come from, Honorable Speaker, not even their religion. Because I have seen Honorable Speaker in Lamu and in northern Kenya, many Muslims suffer under the hands of terrorism. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I would just want to plead for restraint, especially amongst us as a political leadership. Our people, even in Lamu, and I'll say that, Honorable Speaker, because I have relatives. My first cousins are living in Peketoni. And when I speak to them, they speak about criminals and terrorists, not about ethnicities or one ethnic community targeting another ethnic community, Honorable Speaker. And that is why, Honorable Speaker, as leaders, we must be cautious so that we do not fall prey to the machinations of those criminals called terrorists who would want to exploit our ethnic divisions 
and make it look like there is one ethnic community that has been targeted in this region. Another ethnic community will seem that like they have been targeted in another region. Tomorrow, honorable speaker, we are speaking about one community in Lamu. Tomorrow, if you speak to the member for Likoni, honorable Mishimboko, she will, she will tell you, for instance, Likoni has a huge population from Luo Nyanza. What will happen tomorrow, honorable speaker, if terrorists target the community from Luo Nyanza in Likoni? Are we then going to say that those who originally came from Luo Nyanza are being targeted by the Digos who also live in Likoni? Honorable speaker, that is why we must look at terrorism as a criminal activity and help government to deal with it as a criminal activity that has nothing to do with our ethnicity, with where we come from, with the religion that we profess. Criminals and terrorists are plainly criminals and terrorists. Honorable speaker, I know we would be tempted because I, I, I saw the other day uh, the uh, member for Mombasa County express solidarity even at the global front with whatever is happening in the Middle East, Honorable Speaker. And all these temptations are there, but I would really plead with us, even at the global stage, to call for restraint and call for the peaceful coexistence of people from all races, all religions, so that we live peaceably together, Honorable Speaker. And I would really want to plead with the people of Lamu. I would really want to plead with the people of Lamu, Honorable Speaker. Because the CES has already released a list and even offered cash reward. And that tells you the commitment by the Ministry of Interior to deal with this problem in Lamu and in the northern parts of Kenya. Those who may be harboring criminals those who may have knowledge of where these criminals are hiding, whether it's in the body forest or on the frontier districts of our country bordering Somalia, please let us volunteer to avail information to our security agencies to be able to deal with this problem of terrorists and criminality. But in conclusion, Honorable Speaker, I, I plead with all of us, all of us, all of us, Honorable Speaker, to exercise restraint, especially with our public pronouncements. It is very tempting to say insightful things because they augur well with the majority of the people who probably vote for you. But what augurs with, or what will be very good for the public gallery tomorrow may be very dangerous even to your own family and to yourself, and therefore we must always exercise restraint as leaders, because Honorable Speaker, as I say, those who are given more, more is demanded from them. And because we have been given that honored responsibility of being members of parliament, being leaders in our country, let us know that God has given us a higher responsibility to exercise restraint with what we say, how we engage even with members of our own communities and those also who are not from our communities. And with that, Honorable Speaker, I would really beg that... Uh, we allow the Ministry of Interior to deal with criminals as criminals, to deal with terrorists as terrorists, irrespective of who those terrorists are. In fact, Honorable Speaker, 10 years ago, the notion was that every terrorist is a Muslim. Today is not the case, Honorable Speaker. We have seen many Christians being lured into terrorism and becoming actually more vicious. And we have seen it, Honorable Speaker, the people who attack do sit. You saw some of them were said to have been harbored in uh, my own county in Kiambu, in Ruaka, in Kiamba constituency. It would never have been imagined that terrorists would be in Ruaka, in Kiambu county. It is a reality that we are living with today and we must, as leaders, desist from falling, falling, sorry, falling into, the, into the hands and machinations of the terrorists and criminals who would want to come and divide us you, along our ethnicities. Leader.
Thank you, honorable members. This, I want to close this here. And I want to encourage you.